Hello everyone. Welcome to the second episode of Course Review with Kamath. In this episode today we are going to get some insights into the course Automotive Systems and this course is being offered by Hochschule Esslingen and today we have with us one of my friend Ganesh Manavalan who is currently studying this course. And in this session let us try to get some insights about this course and what exactly does one get to study when he or she opts this course so hi ganesh i welcome you to this session and looking forward to getting some insights into your course hi kamath thanks for the opportunity so uh, ganesh so the idea here is to provide the juniors uh, information about this course so that it is easy for them to understand what exactly this course consists of before they apply for this course so it's a good idea that you introduce yourself firstly and tell the viewers where are you from what did you do before joining this course and uh, which year did you join this course good so as you said my name is kanesh manavalan i am from chennai tamil nadu india so i did my bachelor's in electronics and instrumentation and uh, after doing my bachelor's in electronics i entered into an automotive uh, Uh, OEM company and I worked there for two years and after that two years I joined this course ASM in Oxford Slingen and currently I'm in my final year final semester. Okay. So to start with, uh, I think uh, it's a good idea if you can uh, let us know which all courses did you apply for and uh, which universities. Uh, okay. To talk about that. Uh, Uh, before applying for this master's program i made up my mind that i will enter into the automotive engineering mm-hmm. uh, being said that i am from electronics background and I have a work experience in automotive oem mm-hmm. so there were a lot of wow factors at that at the same time there were a lot of uh, black boxes which i couldn't understand okay uh, so in order to uh, overcome all those difficulties i was looking into the automotive engineering courses which were uh, offered by, uh, in germany mm-hmm. out of which uh, uh the courses which matched my interest were uh, uh this uh, this ASM uh, automotive systems by Oxula Esslingen mm-hmm. automotive engineering by uh, RWTH Aachen that that university mm-hmm. and there was another course uh, the commercial vehicle technology which is offered by uh, Kaiser Slotten if i'm not wrong yeah TU Kaiser so out of, mm-hmm. yeah so out of these three uni- yeah i limited my search uh, in germany for these three universities and uh, out of these three uh, rwth aken they said uh, i'm reje- uh, they rejected my application because of uh, g gre score mm-hmm. and the other two universities i luckily got the admission okay. out of which i decided to go for uh, oxula slingen mm-hmm. the course wise both the courses are uh, good the program wise mm-hmm. uh, but there were other factors which i would say oxula slingen offer the tri semester course right this one yeah. asms mm-hmm. so that's why i took this one okay yeah uh, ganesh now that you have given uh, insights into what all courses are available in this domain in germany uh, maybe it's a good start now to get more information exactly about the course that you have been studying that is automotive systems uh yeah so uh, before talking about the technical mm-hmm. details of this course automotive systems i'll give a brief uh, detail about the structure of this uh, course Okay. <clears throat> being said it's automotive systems it's uh, being shared with other majors like uh, vehicle dynamics minus car electronics and the third one is software based automotive mm-hmm. systems so it's a, it's a combined course under this one common platform name called automotive systems mm-hmm. uh, so uh, the the class strength would be of 30 to 35 max if i remember correct my class is of 30 and out of which the majority enters into the vehicle dynamics uh, uh that is 15 to 16 students or something and 8 into the car electronics and the rest into the software based automotive system so now the technical details of the of this course which i am studying is uh mm-hmm. the fir- in the first semester it's a, it's a common semester between uh, all three majors mm-hmm. uh out of uh, in that uh, first you will you will get knowledge about the numerical methods it's it's basically a max paper in which you Mm-hmm. uh deal with uh, uh the oe ode and uh, uh, pde all those differential equations all those stuff 
and then you get a basic uh, simulation and control paper in which you you get more knowledge into the matlab the basics of it uh, not only matlab and also the simulink how to operate all those stuffs and you read about the state space modeling all those all those related stuff it, it's a, it's a good course it's but it gives overall basic of the matlab and how to use it for the simulation and control purpose so the third paper is uh, automotive systems and development uh, uh, in which they talk about uh, the development process system test and uh, software architectures etc and the fourth paper actually there is a mistake in the university portal itself it's not uh, electronics uh, electronics paper it's actually a vehicle dynamics paper in which they talk about uh, the brake systems the the ic is okay. the all those stuff so it, it 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 is a good generic paper in which you get to know the other mechanical stuffs which is there in uh, in a vehicle so, uh, so it's it's a, it's, a, it's a mistake mm-hmm. done by the university i believe they will change it soon so basically in the first semester all the three different subsystems have same courses you study the same subjects apart from one subject the last subject yeah, which exactly. you mentioned is that if you have chosen car electronics then you learn uh, vehicle dynamics so yeah, you get correct. to learn something from the other module as yeah, well exactly in this case yeah okay. so this electronics paper is offered to the vehicle dynamics batch so ah, they okay. get to know what is there in electronics yeah okay okay so moving on to the next semester this semester you enter into a major in okay. which uh, mm-hmm. uh, you you get in depth knowledge about the car electronic stuff so mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, uh, there are three papers in this semester and one team project uh, out of the three papers one is a common paper again which is being shared with the other two majors too that is the advanced simulation and control uh, in this you uh, enter in depth about the modeling of uh, battery systems uh, you talk about more about the longitudinal dynamic stuff the simulation related to that and the uh, the suspension systems you talk about that it's good this paper it's this is a common paper okay. uh, the other two papers are into your domain the major of car electronics that is uh, the electronics and communication in which uh, uh, they talk about the bus systems uh the bus systems which is currently used in uh, automotive field uh, uh, cam lin flex ray ethernet etc and uh, you have a computer vision paper too in which uh, they they'll talk about the adas and automated driving all those stuffs yeah okay okay so basically in this course you get to learn uh, a lot of uh, different topics but for example if you want to get in depth knowledge of uh, some topics for example like adas then can you choose some courses which are provided by some other departments and then uh, learn it or is it not possible that's actually a good question now huh? because I, even i had this question before entering into okshila islam uh the sad part is no you can't i don't know uh, whether it's good or not but they they don't have this opportunity to give to the students to choose their electives it's not it's not like that here everything here is predefined okay yeah so uh, now that you have explained uh, in detail about the two semester subjects that you have studied in the third semester what exactly do you do is it only a thesis semester or i see that it's also mentioning that seven credits is uh, specifically given to soft skills what do you learn in the soft skills and uh, when do you do it yeah so the third semester is again thesis as you mentioned and along with it it is supposed to be two soft skill papers which you are supposed to take it uh, in third semester but how they organized for us and even for our seniors batches they put those two soft skills paper in first semester itself okay. so you complete mm-hmm. those two papers there that time itself and i believe it's quite helpful so that uh, you get to know uh, one paper is about uh, global project management so that paper helps you a lot how to handle or how to tackle the problems which you could face in the second semester team project so yeah it's good and uh, yeah in the second semester uh, i see that there is also uh, heavy heavy credits given to the project work Uh, can you explain a bit about what projects that university provides are there multiple options given to you or is it a predefined topic that is given and you have to solve it yeah sure 
So it's it's both the ways, I mm-hmm. would say. Uh, uh, it, but you don't have the opportunity to choose the topic which you want okay. to work. It's not like that. It's mm-hmm. again how a company works. Uh, uh, to be specific, you, you even get the customer requirements from your professor okay. for the pro- project. So it's it's like how industry works. So you need to uh, satisfy all those uh, the points which is mentioned in the customer requirements, and that's it. So it's for us like that. It, it was like that. It's it's like a. Uh, yeah uh, it's it's with a team of three people or something for us but the vehicle dynamics it's kind of somewhat uh, more industry related they directly get the topic from the industries too but okay. for us it was from the professor okay so uh, i think uh, all the information that you have shared will be very helpful for uh, the ones who are looking to join this course in the upcoming years uh, however, one of the other questions which uh, most of us uh, before applying to any course uh, are interested in is what careers can we pursue after completing this course? So uh, do you have any information about uh, uh, which areas do seniors uh, go or what sort of companies do seniors uh, apply for and work in after finishing uh, the course of ASM and especially after finishing uh, the this ASM car electronics? Yeah, sure. So uh, even I did some research mm-hmm. I, uh, before entering into ASM again. So out of the knowledge which I obtained, I, I could share some details mm-hmm. of the fields which you could enter after completing this course. Uh, so uh, talking with uh, relation to the paper wise, I, I could say the basic uh, simulation and control and the advanced simulation and control, that paper leads you to the simulation testing engineer. So uh, it, it's more like you get the knowledge of battery modeling, uh, the electric vehicle modeling, all those stuff there. So it uh, opens the window to that field, that paper. And the next is the electronics and communication paper, which leads uh, the path to both hardware and software engineering. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you could also become a ECU design engineer with that paper's mm-hmm. knowledge. And the computer vision paper, yeah, you can even enter into ADAS and uh, automated driving uh, field. But uh, I would say if you have some uh, previous work experience in ADAS, then it would be easy. Otherwise, I I felt it's difficult to enter into ADAS and automated driving okay. field with the knowledge what I obtained from the, the this course. Okay. And uh, talking about the functions, major functions, which you could enter, as I mentioned uh, uh, before, it's the simulation engineer, you could you could become you could mm-hmm. become a hardware t- Test, you, you could also become a test engineer. You could also become an application engineer. Yeah, it's the, the windows, it's, it's, it's huge. It's, it's a lot of doors, multiple doors you get. Yes. So basically, like uh, from what I understand, uh, if you already have a particular experience in one particular domain before joining this course, then it's more easy to pursue career up after finishing the master's in similar domain. However, for example, like in your case, uh, you wanted to do something in EDAS, but what you studied in this particular course was not sufficient enough to lead you to that career. That's what uh, I get it. Uh, yeah, 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 you are right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, coming to the next question, what is the criteria to get into this particular course? And is there any particular CGPA requirement uh, that needs to be satisfied to get into this course? Yeah, before answering this question, I should put some disclaimer. Okay, the the knowledge which I'm going to share is nowhere displayed uh, in Okshula Slingan's website, official website or something. And all this, uh, the, the answer is based upon uh, my interaction with my seniors and the super seniors. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, uh, it's, uh, being said that this course, the total strength would be uh, 30 to 35 max, that's it. And out of which, 8 uh, uh, goes to car electronics, 8 to 10. Okay. Uh, so, and uh, uh, out of which, Indians would be max to max to. Okay. So, in my batch, even only one guy, it's me, that's it. So the CGPA criteria is quite high for this course. Yeah, so it's, 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 uh, it should be nine or above, I would say. Oh. So uh, coming to the last question of this session, uh, how do you feel in general about this course? Okay, so this, this course, it's, uh, uh, it's again automotive systems. It gives the overall picture of what is there inside a vehicle and uh, 
how do you uh, design uh, the different components mm-hmm. in in that and uh, even in some parts they talk about the manufacturing of this vehicle too so you you get the big picture of uh, uh, what all inside a vehicle and uh, what all you 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 could possibly get to know uh, inside a car so i would say it's a good course for mm-hmm. someone who is more interested into the automotive field and also the systems which is being related to that so, yeah. okay so uh, thank you ganesh for sharing your insights uh, about the course that you have been studying for the past one and a half year uh, i think it's always good to get some insights from the students who have studied the course recently and get to know what exactly one gets to study if he or she opts this course for me for sure since i am from a mechanical background uh, all the information that you have shared uh, has given me a clear idea on uh, what exactly one can study in this course if he or she opts and uh, therefore uh, the information that you have given is for sure very valuable so uh, thank you once again for your time and uh, wish you good luck thanks kamath thanks for this opportunity again and i would say all the best for the students who are aiming for oxalis thanks guys for watching the session till the end and if you guys have any more questions please write it in the comment section and we will be more than happy to answer your questions if you like the content if you like the information please share it with others who are looking for similar information and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to get more information on other courses thank you guys